You've heard of carnivores, omnivores, and herbivores, but the diets of the animal and plant kingdoms are as diverse as the species within them. Meaning, there are a few other words we don't hear as often that can be used to describe the dietary preferences of some niche species. Frugivores primarily feed on fruits, as a result, they often play an important role in local seed dispersal. Folivores feed on low-energy, hard-to-digest, and occasionally toxic leaves. Because of this, they tend to have long digestive tracts and slow metabolisms. Granivores feed on plant seeds as a main or exclusive food source and often have specialized adaptations for cracking open hard outer casings. Nectarivores derive their energy requirements from sugar-rich flower nectar and have evolved elongated tongues and or mouth parts to acquire their meals. Algivores are algae and phytoplankton specialists that aid in keeping natural phenomena like algal blooms in check. Gumnivores feed on the gum, sap, resin, and latex from trees and will occasionally supplement their diets with tree-dwelling insects for protein. Polynivores are animals that selectively eat the nutrient-rich pollen produced by angiosperms and gymnosperms. Lignivores, or xylophages, are animals whose diets consist primarily of wood, with those that feed primarily on dead wood being referred to as saproxylophages. Sanguivores, or hematophages, feed on blood. A favorite of many small animals, as blood is easy to acquire and is nutrient-dense. Avivores are carnivore specialists with a preference for birds. Animals within this group often have speed and or agility adaptations to aid in prey capture. Piscivores, or ichthyophages, are carnivores that primarily eat fish. This is one of the oldest dietary specializations on the planet. Myrmicophages and termitophages feed, often exclusively, on ants and termites, and have convergently evolved remarkably similar adaptations to capture their eusocial prey. Fungivores, or mycophages, are animals with a preference for fungi. Detritivores, or detritophages, eat decaying plant and animal parts, contributing to decomposition and the recycling of nutrients. Coprophages are plants and animals that consume fecal matter, as feces contain substantial amounts of semi-digested food, particularly in the herbivores. Bacterivores obtain energy and nutrients from the consumption of bacteria, and the term describes both the microscopic and macroscopic organisms that feed on them. And now you know.